Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. My name is Miss Laura. Can you tell me your name? I'm so grateful that you made it back. Shall we start our day off with a song? Here we go. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Let's meet someone new now. I have a very special someone new right here that's excited to meet you. Let's see. This is Scaredy Snail. Say hi, Scaredy Snail. Hi, Scaredy Snail. He's silly. Now, Scaredy Snail, why do they call you Scaredy Snail? That's because I'm scared all the time of noise. Me too. I get scared of noise all the time. Are there special noises that scare you? Yes. Thunderstorms. Oh, I get scared with thunderstorms too. I think we're going to learn about thunderstorms this week and we might even make something sweet that's going to help you feel better. Are you excited? Okay, let me put you down and then we'll get started with our day. Now, boys and girls, you already know I like to start off by telling you how I'm feeling and then check in with you. So this morning, I walked outside in my furry boots and there were large puddles out there. I couldn't even go for a walk. Now I want you to think, do you think that made me happy or angry? That's right, I was a little bit angry. I stomped my feet even. Now anger is a strong feeling that you feel in your body. Your head might hurt, your stomach might hurt. And actually what you can do to calm down is one of the strategies I'm gonna show you. Let me show you my wheel of calm. Ready? Let's see what strategy we're gonna pull. A sensory bottle. Now these bottles are something that you can make yourself at home. So here I just recycled an old bottle and I filled it with some soap and bubble solution and glue and I can watch it go back and forth like this. And I even have one that I filled with some pom-poms here too. Let's see, and watching these go back and forth really helps calm me down. Now let's check in with how you're feeling. You're gonna help me pick out what letter mirror we're gonna to use to check in on our facial clues for how we're feeling. Ready? This letter needs a big curve. Let's plop it right on. Bloop. What letter have we made? That's right, the letter C. Okay, let me grab my letter C mirror. And let's take a look at how we're feeling. And maybe we can dance and sing with Shy Bunny. Let's watch together. Get ready to sing along with me. And Shy Bunny. Shy Bunny doesn't like to sing, but maybe if we sing with him, he'll sing along too. If you're angry and you know it, say I'm mad, I'm mad. If you're angry and you know it, say I'm mad, I'm mad. If you're angry and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're angry and you know it, say I'm mad, I'm mad. If you're scared and you know it, say oh no, oh no. If you're scared and you know it, say oh no, oh no. If you're scared and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're scared and you know it, say, oh no, oh no. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Our feelings are so important. Thank you, Shy Bunny. 
I love singing with Shy Bunny. Now remember, boys and girls, you have to check in on how you feel, not just once, but throughout the day. So today we have a special friend named Belle, C, special letter B for Belle, hi Belle, who wants to show us how she's feeling. Now let's see, I saw Belle at the zoo and Belle was wearing these very special heart glasses. Do you see them? She's also wearing a glitter mask. Now boys and girls, when you look at someone like this, you might not be able to tell if they're smiling or what their eyes are doing. So you can use the clues around them in the story that kind of will help you tell you how they're feeling. So Belle was at the zoo, she was with her family and she's wearing glitter mask and some sassy glasses. Hmm. If you think that Belle was feeling sad, make a sad face like this. If you think that she's feeling proud, make a proud face like this. Let me check. Ooh, I see a lot of proud faces. That's right, she's feeling proud of her glasses. She told me so. Thank you, Belle, for sharing your story. Boys and girls, if you wanna share your story, please send it to the address below. Okay, let's see. Time to check our visual schedule and see what we have going on today. We did our emotional check-in. It's time to do our weekly investigation. Now we're gonna learn about the book Thunder Cake this week and all about thunderstorms. And then we're gonna sing our goodbye song. Does that sound like a good plan? Okay, let's start our day with a little movement before we move to our intentional teaching card. All right, are you ready? I'm gonna flip this card over and there's gonna be a letter and there's gonna be a movement with that letter. Ooh, I like this one. Here we go. Da 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 da. Letter S. S for stump. We're gonna stump like thunder. Okay, here we go. Get your stompers ready and we're gonna stump. Oh, I'm actually gonna stump over to my intentional message. Right, well, here we are. Our intentional message helps focus our work for the week. It says, our focus text is Thunder Cake by Patricia Polacco. The book is about a little girl that learns to overcome her fear of thunderstorms. And in just a minute, we're gonna watch the story. But right now, I wanna preview that story with you. So, the story is from, uh, Babushka is from Russia. Russia is a very special place, pretty far from the United States, which is where you live. So in this story, it starts off with thunderstorms. Have you ever seen a thunderstorm? Thunderstorms can be pretty loud. There's some rain and loud noises. And also very large flashes of light called lightning. Those can be kind of scary too. In our story, the little girl learns a very special trick for learning how far away a storm is. So pay attention to that. And sometimes thunderstorms can make us very scared, like scared snail. In our story, the little girl gets very scared by the noise. I wonder what's gonna happen. I wonder if she's gonna bake a cake. We're gonna find out right now. Let's watch our, mo our story. It's story time. Thunder Cake, a classic tale by Patricia Polacco, retold by Miss Lara. One summer day, the air was damp and heavy. Storm clouds drifted over the fields and thunder made the window panes shudder. A little girl and her babushka, which is grandmother in Russian, looked on at the storm from inside their house. The little girl was frightened by all the noise and ran under her babushka's skirt. Child, you come out from under my skirt. It's only thunder you're hearing, babushka said. This is thunder cake baking weather. Thunder cake, the little girl asked. Babushka showed the little girl the recipe and said, 
before we gather ingredients, we'll need to know how far away the storm is. When you see lightning, start counting real slow. When you hear thunder, stop counting. That number is how many miles away the storm is. And off they went to find ingredients. They were near the barn when a huge bolt of lightning flashed. The little girl counted to 10 and Babushka said, See, the storm is 10 miles away. Even though she was scared, the little girl gathered eggs from mean old Nellie Peck. <laughs> lightning flashed again. The little girl counted to nine. Nine miles, said Babushka. The little girl gathered milk from old kick cow. She was still very frightened. She saw another flash of lightning and counted to eight this time. Then they got the flour, sugar, chocolate, and a secret ingredient, tomatoes, from the dry shed. The lightning flashed again. It was closer than ever. The little girl counted to five. They returned home, mixed their ingredients, and baked the cake. Babushka said, you were so brave to gather those ingredients. The little girl felt braver. Making and eating thunder cake with her babushka had made her realize that thunder was just a noise. It turns out that noise wasn't as scary after all. All right, my friends, don't forget that you can read all about the weather on the Sora app and in the books around you. We'll revisit thunder cake in tomorrow's activity. So I have my umbrella out because I thought I felt a little sprinkle and I remembered that I have a really fun song that I wanted to share with you. So it goes like this. Come under my umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Come under my umbrella. It's starting to rain with thunder and lightning and thunder and lightning. Come under my umbrella. It's starting to rain. Should we do it in Spanish too? I think we'll just have enough time. Ven bajo de mi paraguas, paraguas, paraguas. Ven bajo de mi paraguas, que ya va a llover. Con relámpagos y truenos y truenos y relámpagos. Ven bajo de mi paraguas, que ya va a llover. Oh, I'm so glad we got to sing that song. I think it's time for us to check our visual schedule. Let me ring the bell. We did our emotional check-in, we're reading Thunder Cake, and now it's time to do more singing and sing our goodbye song. Will you sing with me? I think you know this song by now. It goes like this. A, B, C, you later. D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya. H, I, have to go now. J, K, bye-bye now. L, M, N, O, I had a good time. P, Q, are you gonna miss me? S T U R, my best friend. V W X Y Z. We'll see you tomorrow, boys and girls. Goodbye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.